it's over um, what it is today. And there are people that would still would love to go back to that form of lifestyle. I, I, I like a computer. I like to be able to look up things and stuff like that. So, but that's where um, people look for solitude. And a lot of those things made the solitude even better for a group, group, most groups of people. <laughs> but, oh, I'm sorry, I just kind of, as I get close to these, these parts where I need to really watch, <clears throat> watch my hands. I, I do, when I do these particular things. But I think that's where the joy of understanding, and I think we all need to understand that. We don't, we don't need to wipe away our history of, of woodling and wood carving. We need to embrace it, and we need to be thankful for it because these guys, a lot of them, now, remember, think about it for a minute. Where did, where did a lot of, of whittling and wood carving begin, or when I, I began? A lot of it was up in the Ozarks. It was, um, as we call the old hillbilly, and really there's no such thing as a hillbilly. Uh, but it was the Ozarks where uh, people began doing a lot of that stuff. And, and what was in the Ozarks? It was very poor people. People that, that said, hey, you know, I can carve and sell some things so that I can get a little bit of an income in it, out of it. And so we got, and we had a lot of great carvers come from that period of time, the Ozarks, like Pete Engler and Harold Enlow. Harold Enlow came out of the uh, way I understand. Ooh, it's getting kind of dark out here. I'm sorry, I hope it came from, but Dog Patch USA. And, uh, uh, I'm sorry. Let me reach down here and get this V2. Um, and we're up in that, on, up in the Ozarks. And, and the Ozarks were poor people, mountain people, things like that, as they call them. So they learned carving and they took it as a trade. And you've seen some of those beautiful pieces of work from the Ozarks up there and from the people that lived in the mountains, Carolinas, places like that because these were people that they worked with their hands and they, they worked with the talent of their hands to make beautiful things. Wow, it is really getting dark around here. I'm sorry if you can't see quite as well. I'm, gonna, I'm fixing to finish up this little guy and we'll, we'll go. Wow, it has been raining for the last, it's been raining straight for about the past three days and stuff. But that's where, when I first started learning about carving, that's where I saw a lot of the carvings when I would go to the Ozarks or go. And, and um, of course, tourist traps begin to be created. And um, in those tourist traps, like, for instance, Silver Dollar City and those places like that, uh, they wanted to, sh they, they always wanted to include the crafts of, um, uh, of the, um, the local people. And there would be quilts and there would be all kind of things. And one of those was whittling and wood carving. So we 
that's where we have a lot of our people that um, we have learned from. I know a lot of carvers today, um, they used to talk about Andy Anderson, the great character carver Andy Anderson. They said when he was about six or seven years old, he used to, um, he used to uh, run away from school or, or go and skip school so that he could just go carve and whittle. And, and you know, that's the way that a lot of these guys come about because school and education was not their thing. They were going to be cow punchers and I think Andy Anderson did a little bit of everything. And the way a lot of these guys became so good at carving animals like uh, um, um, you know, horses and stuff like that is because they worked around them. They worked around these uh, these particular uh, thing. Oh, wow! It's really starting to rain now. Hear it? Wow! Really starting to come down now. And that's how they learned to to do this. Oops! I'm gonna have to move kind of back a little bit. Uh, the rain's starting to come into my garage. I don't want to get my, uh, get my camera all wet. Anyway, anyway, let's, let's. I'm gonna move back just a little bit, and then we're. I'm almost through with my figure, so. So. Uh, as you can probably see. All right. I think that's gonna be close enough. It is really. Let me come back a little bit more. Oh, brother. Hold on. Let me get up. You see? See? Now, this is carving with somebody. If we were... <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to move. Excuse me. I don't want to get my camera all wet. It is really, really pouring out there. Oh, gosh. Okay. Wow. We've had some really, really bad rainstorms. Anyway, we're going to finish this little guy up. And then we're going to go. I'm going to put my eyes in there. And uh, anyway... You can, you can hear how how bad it's coming down. Okay, well, let me go wet my little guy. Uh, I could probably stick him outside and he'll be wet. But uh, Okay. Well, let me see. Where's my... There it is. Well, it's been enjoyable sitting here on the morning with you. It's getting a little bit loud now. I've enjoyed sitting here with you. There's our little guy whittling. And you see, we're just sitting here talking and uh, communicating and uh, whittling a little man and just enjoying each other's company without sticking a phone in our, our face and we've got him through now and here's our little guy I hope it 
as I said, it was getting so dark, it was just, just I mean, we've got a real powerful rainstorm going on right now with all this. Okay, well, God bless you now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, I'll show them to you when I get through, but it's been a pleasure sitting here with you, talking with you about wood carving, whittling, those type of things. We'll discuss some more concerning this. And, you know, the future, there's a lot of things. What is, you know, the future of what this, this hobby is to be? I don't think any of us really know completely what the um, future holds. But I think I'm beginning to learn it's looking a little bit better than what it used to look because I saw this hobby fall off pretty drastically one time where we didn't have a lot left of it. So anyway, well, God bless you now. And thank you for sitting here and chewing the fat as we used to call and, and or whatever. And like I said, this may not be the thing that you want because uh, if you don't like to talk or or do anything like that, that's fine, or discuss things. But that's what I'm gonna start doing more with my channel. It's just basically called sitting and whittling. So, God bless you now.